Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. I'm making this video because um, I was trying to uh, build a, an APK so I could upload it into uh, the Google Play console and I started getting this error, uh, password verification fail. And uh, one of the things, if you're getting that error, one of the things that uh, I suggest you do is to make sure that the certificate that you're using when you're going to build, uh, generate, sign, APK, uh, bundle APK, make sure that the certificate that you're using is the same certificate that you have used uh, before when uploading, uh, when making APK for that specific application. Certificate um, are specific to the application. You cannot um, use one certificate to upload a uh, and a version of your application, and then uh, another day make making a few changes uh, and create another certificate and use that certificate in order to uh, make an update in the Google Play Console to your application. So make sure you always use the same certificate. So when you create, when you uh, first create your application, you have to create a certificate. And that certificate that you use for the first time in order to create the APK file and you upload it into Google Play Console, it is the same certificate that you have to use thereafter. You cannot create a different certificate uh, and use it for a uh, later version. So that's one thing I wanted to make sure you guys know. Um, the other thing is that um, Obviously, you need to remember your password. Uh, so I was sure that I was entering the right password. And uh, next, in the next section, you need to make sure you select version one and version two. Uh, version one is for the jar signature, and version two is for full APK signature. Um, so. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you the steps that I took in order to uh, make this error uh, go away. Um, um, I started also getting this error. You uploaded an APK with an invalid signature, um, error jack signatures, uh, no signature. Even though I was selecting uh, version 1 and version 2. So what I did... Uh, uh, by the way, I, I did a, a, a little bit of research and I find a few uh, posts, mainly on Stack Overflow, suggesting that this was an error due to uh, time settings. So uh, the post suggests to go into time in time settings and uh, either move the time backwards or set the time forward. Uh, because basically you were dealing with a certificate that either was expired or was set to be valid sometime in the future. And so what I did, I went into the, uh, I opened a file manager and I went inside the, uh, my project directory and I did a couple of things um, that I found online and these two things worked for me. Um, I can't say for sure uh, if these two the, the things were the, the things that work or the fact that um, I started playing around with things uh, and eventually uh, I reached a point, I don't know, I waited like five or six hours and, if, and eventually worked. Um, but any, anyhow, uh, the first thing that I did was to completely delete the build um, directory and then I move the grotto, the build grotto at the application level into a different directory. So I completely remove the grotto, the build grotto from the from the project file. And so after that, I restarted Android Studio. And obviously, when you restart Android Studio, it, it'll try to recreate the grotto. And so it created a new grotto. And then I try to uh, do uh, a, a generate a sign bundle APK, um, but that didn't work. So I moved the gra the grotto back in, 
and restart it. Uh, Android Studio one more time, and this time I run uh, the Generate Bundle APK uh, Wizard, and this time I was able to uh, to upload it into Google Play Console without getting any error. So that was basically the steps that I took. Um, I wanted to make this video so I kind of uh, run down through all the possibilities of the things that you could do in order to not get uh, that any errors or successfully build your APK file. So I hope uh, this video was helpful and as always remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.